La tecnología avanza a un ritmo acelerado, cambiando la forma en que vivimos, trabajamos y nos relacionamos. En este nuevo panorama, la transformación digital es una clave para el éxito. ¿Y quién mejor para hablar de esto que un pionero de la industria tecnológica? Michael Dell, fundador y CEO de Dell Technologies. Desde hace más de 30 años, Dell ha liderado la transformación digital desde la venta directa de computadoras personales hasta la creación de soluciones tecnológicas para empresas de todos los tamaños. Hoy, Dell juega un papel crucial en la transformación digital al proporcionar la infraestructura tecnológica que todo negocio necesita para prosperar en la era digital a través de nube híbrida y edge computing, inteligencia artificial y análisis de datos, servicios de consultoría y soporte, sostenibilidad. Michael Dell, un visionario que a los 19 años fundó la compañía que lleva su nombre, comparte su filosofía sobre cómo la tecnología digital puede ser utilizada para crear soluciones ingeniosas que conduzcan a mejores resultados y al logro de objetivos. Esto es Norte Digital, la primera serie de entrevistas en México producida por Grupo Financiero Banorte, que marca el rumbo de la transformación digital. Hello, welcome to another chapter of Norte Digital. Today we have a very special guest. We are going to jump out of the traditional format of Norte Digital so we can take advantage of your time. Welcome. Thank you. Great, great to be with you and uh, wonderful to have a conversation today. Let's start a bit in the past, Michael. I know that one of your first jobs was washing dishes at a restaurant, but you were already beginning your entrepreneurial journey even before then. What do you think instilled that mindset in you so young? You know, I think growing up in Houston, Texas in the 70s, it was kind of a boom town and I was seeing all the tall buildings go up everywhere. Uh, and I kind of dreamed of having my own company one day. And my parents uh, around the dinner table were always talking about, you know, the economy and the stock market and uh, what was going on in, in the world. And they encouraged my curiosity. And so, you know, I had a lot of uh, entrepreneurial activities when I was a, when I was a kid, you know, uh, a stamp auction business to, selling newspaper subscriptions. And, you know, I was inspired by a lot of the other entrepreneurs that challenged the status quo and had built businesses. Uh, you know, that was that was something that was uh, exciting to me and seemed like a fun thing to do. Nice. Uh, coming back to 2024, Michael, uh, you're about to, to accomplish your 40th birthday coming up, congratulations. In this time, you have witnessed major advancements in technology and weathered many consumer and economic cycles. To what do you credit Dell's enduring success? You know, every organization exists because it solves problems that are important and valuable. And if you are able to help customers, you know, solve those problems, uh, you get to come back and, and do it some more, right? <laughs> uh, and if you don't, then you don't and you go out of business, right? So uh, our business is really about understanding customers challenges and figuring out how we can create better outcomes for them using digital technology and all the wonderful things that are happening in the world. So it starts with having big ears and anticipating uh, all the new technology that's coming. And, you know, I think ultimately our uh, most successful Uh, you know, product, if you will, is the culture that we created inside the company that allows us to do this over and over again. You know, any single product we create, we would be very proud of, but it's ultimately the culture that creates those products on an ongoing basis and approves them that, you know, makes the company uh, successful and allows us to celebrate more, you know, birthdays in the future. We are now talking in, in the financial industry and some other industries we we're talking about personalization and you were doing that i don't know 35 years ago 38 years ago when 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 we can select the the computer as 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 anyone can can choose it no but talking about technology michael about the positive benefits that ai can unlock for business and society but also acknowledging that uh, the, we need some guardrails Can you talk about your perspective on the promise of uh, artificial intelligence for business 
in the near term and the long term, what are the opportunities, what are the risks, what are the challenges? You know, I'm incredibly excited about this. And, you know, it's really nothing like what we've seen in the last four or five decades with technology. Uh, it's happening very fast also. You know, it took us a long time to get 5 billion people on the internet. And now we have 5 billion people using AI almost instantly. And, you know, a way to think about this is we used to have, and we still have quite a lot of computers that do calculations and there are computing machines. The, the real uh, excitement around AI is we've effectively created brains and cognitive power. And that cognitive power uh, in terms of cost is approaching zero. And so effectively, this means that anyone who's trying to do something is going to be able to do it more effectively because they have this kind of super genius power helping them. And, you know, what that means for the world in terms of healthcare or education. Look, I've always believed that technology is about making us healthier, safer and more successful in all human endeavors. And AI is really turbocharging that. You know, there are definitely uh, dangers and risks, but that is true with any technology. I don't think the answer is to slow it down. And we're seeing just a great uh, proliferation of AI with open source models and, uh, you know, organizations and individuals figuring out how they can make themselves much more successful at everything they're doing. So again, I'm a technology optimist. I believe it's going to be an enormous leap forward. I believe it'll grow the economy uh, in, in, in the world and it'll be the defining uh, technology, you know, certainly for this decade. Certainly. I, I'm also a technology optimist. Uh, one last question, Michael. Uh, you have written a couple of books the most recent of which outlines those things you believe are foundational to success in life and business. Uh, would you share a bit more about that? Sure. Uh, my, my most recent book is called Play Nice But Win. And this is something my, my parents told uh, me and my, my two brothers when we were little kids before we would go out in the street and play. And, you know, uh, I talk a lot about some things I think are universal to success in general, at least it is work for me. Uh, your mileage may vary, but you know, I believe in curiosity, in continuous learning. Um, and th that's certainly never been more important than it is now with everything changing so fast. And uh, it's a great opportunity to uh, reimagine things. Uh, I talk a lot about facts and database decision making. Um, you know, never trying to be the smartest person in the room and seeking out people you can learn from. I talk about uh, speed of decision making, you know, and embracing change. Uh, you know, I think in our business, we change or we die, right? We're, we're quick or, or we're dead. <laughs> uh, and I also talk about building teams. Teams win championships, not individuals. So take care of your team, build your team. And uh, you know, confidence, not arrogance, um, humility, and, uh, you know, accepting that we are going to fail and learn from those failures. Don't, uh, get wrapped up in, in, a, in an ego thing. And then, uh, something we say a lot around Dell Technologies, please, but not satisfied, continually looking for improvement, or as the Japanese say, uh, Kaizen. So there's a lot more in, in the book, and uh, I hope you get a chance to check it out. Yeah, yeah, I have read it. For sure, I have read it. Thank you, and I, I, love, it. I love the title. Michael, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us about your perspective of life and business. Uh, and no doubt we will learn a lot of, from the concepts that, that you have shared with us. Thank you very much. Thank you, and thank you for the partnership with Bank and Norte. Thank you. Nice seeing you. Today we learn about what goes on behind a successful business, the importance of discipline, artificial intelligence, and some other skills that we all need to develop in today's world. Thank you for watching us on Norte Digital. Stay tuned for our next episode.